We're here with supermodel and actress Sarah. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Ooh. Very nice to call me a supermodel. Yeah, I appreciate that. Supermodel. I it's quite that. Uh, so we have a bunch of questions, but uh, let's start from, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I know you're you're a mix, a very sexy mix. Oh, thank you. Uh, what, where are you from? Lots of um, things. Thailand. Um, that's where I grew up. That's where I started my career. What? Um, yeah, and, but, but my dad's British. So, oh, but okay. I grew up there, started my career there, and I moved here five, six years ago. Yeah. So supermodeling in Thailand. Yes. How that was that was like? Much. I think it's pretty much the same as it is here. It's just a little more contained because it's you know it's small country, but yeah, it was it was really fun. I mean, I did it ever since I was 12 years old. There's a lot of runway shows. They have a Bangkok Fashion Week. You know, it's it's pretty so similar. a lot of the same things. A lot of the same things, yeah. And are you doing that here now? No, not so much. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why the? Ooh. Um, well, I mean, it's not really like a runway centric industry here. That's more New York. Mm -hmm. um, and I really came out here to focus on my acting career. Mm -hmm. nice. But I kind of started as a model, and that's how I started in the industry. And mm -hmm. I've seen I've seen like documentaries on models and stuff in like supermodels, especially in Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. Did you ever go through the whole you're in your underwear, the castings that you're oh, in your yeah. underwear with hundreds <laughs> of girls in your underwear? Oh, yeah. how how did you feel doing those things? I was so young. Yeah. I just didn't really know that it was weird. Like you feel yeah. weird and you feel like maybe this isn't quite right and maybe I should mm. have some clothes on and maybe there but shouldn't be doing it. five men staring at you. Mm. But everybody's doing it and you don't question it and you're just you're just young and um, you want to get the job. Uh, for me, I wanted to like make my parents happy because they mm -hmm. wanted it for me. So yeah, it was it was a lot of things. We were just talking about um, Harvey Weinstein. Yes, I heard. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you're familiar with everything that's happening. Yes, of course. And we How see this a lot. <laughs> in Hollywood yeah but actually I think it's something that is seen in a lot of industries yeah um, I don't know a lot about the modeling industry but is there something like that oh yeah oh yeah I mean it's a it's a little different because there's a lot mm -hmm. of you know there's not so many men like Harvey in the modeling industry it's a lot of gay men um, uh -huh. so they're not gonna hit on you so a bit more safe well <laughs> not really because oh. um, it's not sexual but the abuse there is more insidious and that it's like oh you're honey you're looking a little chunky it's like, it's, it's very emotional and uh -huh. it's really it's mental. a lot about me yeah it's mental abuse and it's just as insidious as a sexual abuse because yeah. it really does affect that's something you. that we really should be talking about yeah, more often it, because yeah you know Lisa Machado who used to be a you know world-class uh, you know a, a model mm -hmm. she was told that she was chunky a lot oh yeah yeah and how do you feel about how, what kind of message you're sending to these girls that yeah you know, it's terrible I mean I remember there was times when I would be taking a break between shows or whatever and I'm like putting a spoonful of rice in my mouth and then the, the stylist comes up to me and says maybe, maybe you shouldn't wow. how about a little less rice you know and you're you're 14 years old and no. you know you don't no. forget that you know that stays yeah. with you for the of rest course. of your life every time you take a spoonful of rice I think about that moment like still oh to this day of course yeah. I'm sad for you right now yeah, I know. So. it's horrible so I mean we can talk a lot about the sexual abuse but there's all kinds of abuse that goes on yeah. in these industries that really affects you yeah so what motivated to want to get to into move. the acting career um, well I started acting there too it kind mm -hmm. of was like a big transition um, you start off modeling you do commercials and I did a lot of soap operas um, oh, yeah? which was cute and fun in Thailand in Thailand yeah <laughs> be dramatic in say something dramatic oh, oh, oh. No, they're kind of like the Telenova um, series they're yeah. really super dramatic yeah, yeah. Um, I would like tell me, don't go. Yeah, this Stay is here. Say it. Goodbye, Naka. I believed it. Um, <laughs> me too. There was a lot of things like I had to do. Like they love crying, and Aww. you know they love it when you cry. So I would have to like learn how to cry out of my left eye one single tear because they were shooting from this side. No. So oh that's like God. a little Heart skill professional set. <laughs> over here. So um, since yeah. you're here, oh we're gonna do things a little differently, mm -hmm. and it's game time. Game time. Confessional box. We are going to play confessional box of tampons. The only rule here is that you have to be honest. Why don't you start? All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Mama? Mm -hmm. Question number one. <laughs> All right. Dun, 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 dun. What celebrity would you want to change lives with? Oh my gosh. Mm. You want to do a little exchange, celebrity exchange? <laughs> That's a really hard one. Yeah. Jesus, right. these questions are hard. Um, who would I want to do a celebrity exchange with? I'd choose Danny Glover. I'd choose. Who would you? <laughs> I'd decided. choose Jennifer Aniston. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Of course. Oprah. Huh. Charlie Theron. Oof, I like Charlie it. Theron. Ooh. Oh, she is great. She's I awesome. heard she gets road rage sometimes, though. Oh, is she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've heard that, On too. On Outpost Drive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next. Dun-dun-dun-dun. What are you self-conscious about? Mm, 
what am I self-conscious about? I mean, everything. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It depends on the day, really. I mean, yeah. there'll be days oh, where I'm yeah. like, oh, my hair is not 100. What am I doing? There's days where I feel like, oh, I'm not so skinny. I don't know. You just get self-conscious. It just changes from day to day. But I probably from modeling a lot of physical stuff? Not so much anymore. I'm kind of over that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it just depends on your mood. Sometimes yeah. I'm self-conscious about my driving. Like, I can't get, in, I can't fit into that. I can't parallel park. Somebody no, help me. Yeah. This is it's Asian in us. It's I am 100% the Asian driver. I like, know, me too. I can't parallel park, and I will hand someone. Guys will, like, park for me because they feel bad for me. I'll be, like, on Franklin and trying to do Runyon, and I'm trying to parallel park, and some guy will be like, hey, Didn't give me you live keys. in England? I did. So, I mean, driving there is even harder. No, I didn't no oh. drive it that way. You don't have to drive. <laughs> Guys, the last right, question. One more? Last one. Youngest person you've ever dated? <gasps> oh. I don't do young. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. You, know. you, know. you do us. Yes. The yeah. older gentlemen who are watching. <laughs> the, um, the youngest guy I probably dated is probably like five years older than me. So and We are here with Sarah. So let's pick up where we left off. <laughs> All right, question. <laughs> question is... Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, this looks like a good one. Oh my gosh. What was your last argument about? My last argument. Or were um, you the instigator? Yes. <laughs> oh, what was it um, about? One of my friends is staying with me right now, and she ate my leftovers. Uh, yeah. Oh, you do not mess with people's food, girl. I'm that friend. Do not mess criminal, with criminal. Food. I am that friend. I would friend. be the friend to eat it too. Yeah. I will yeah. kill both. I, I just hungry. went into the kitchen, the shared kitchen upstairs, and ate some corn. Yeah. And Who's corn? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I ate it. It's wrong. It's, it's wrong. really wrong. Sorry. Uh, All right, next. I got, I got one for you. Your first kiss story. Oh, how was it? Who it was, was it? Beautiful. I mean, I had I was really lucky. My first boyfriend was a really nice guy, Aww. and I remember I think we were in the back of a car and we kissed, and I felt dizzy, and it was it was beautiful. everything. Yeah, how it do you say dizzy in Thai? Uh, Nguyen Hua. Nguyen Hua. Mm. I was <laughs> Nguyen Hua. <laughs> okay. How many selfies do you take before posting one? Oh God, at least twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see my phone. Yeah, a lot, a lot. <laughs> I, I'm really kind of psycho about that. Um, <laughs> and then it's the filter choice, and then it's, it's, it's a it lot. It takes a it's long a lot. time. Very, about how long to It's post. very time consuming, and then maybe I'll post it and not like it and take it down and redo <laughs> something. It's, it's, I can't. See, it's, at it's least people at home can know that supermodels <laughs> have the exact yes. same issue yes. as us regular old people who exactly. take pictures and go delete it, delete it. Exactly. Delete it. exactly. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I do that too. Yeah. You yeah. do that too? Yeah. No. You do? <laughs> Hello. Hello. With this forehead, I need to find the right angle so it doesn't yeah, yeah. shine too much. Right so do, you, mm -hmm. do you think over the past few years you've changed your definition of beauty? Mm. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think social media has definitely changed everybody's definition of beauty because right. it's all in front of us. It's in our hands every day. There's like... I don't. I follow supermodels. I follow all these beautiful women on Instagram, and it's like it kills you because you're yeah. just looking at them every single day. They're and you're like, your put head. down the rice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, like before, we didn't have access to that. You could no. go buy like Vogue magazine and look through and be like, oh my god, I wish I was Giselle. But like here, you're just using the bathroom and you're like yeah. flicking through and yeah. you see yeah. like these gorgeous women. So yeah, it's definitely changed. As opposed to looking at Mary in the supermarket. Yes. And being like, gosh, Mary's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't see, we don't really look at people anymore. No, you know? it's and that's the trick because what you're looking through your phone, you don't know if it's real. Yeah, yeah. she's probably so. taken a hundred selfies. And I mean, hundred yeah. filters. And I'm yeah. sure you've gotten this as a model. The amount of countries that have changed their policies on. Um, on Photoshop. Yep, I France, mean, France is one of them. Yeah. We're going to talk about that on another day, though. Ooh. Yeah, that's another topic. <laughs>